The Ugandan government, supported by the Hungarian government, has established a new cardiac intensive care unit at the Uganda Heart Institute in Mulago. This unit will enhance support to cardiac patients and advance cardiac care in the country as a whole. We take a look at the new ICU and have a sit down with the head of cardiac critical care who's in charge of ensuring the unit's full Dr. Lamex Mogere. I am the head of the Department of Cardiac Critical Care at Uganda Heart Institute. Uh, this is a department where we admit uh, the patients we consider quite sick and they need mouth organ support. And as you may know, for Uganda Heart Institute, most of the patients we work on resent when they have mouth organ dysfunction. Most of their organs are not working. All the procedures we do to them they make them go into a state where the organs are a bit dysfunctional and they may need to be supported. We have the cardiac surgery intensive care unit. We have the cardiac surgery high dependence unit. We have the cardiac medical ICU. All these units put together, they form the department of cardiac critical care. And so where we are right now is one of those units and specifically this one is called the Cardiac Surgery Intensive Care Unit. This unit, as you may see it, it's quite new and uh, it is a new development at Uganda Heart Institute because for the last couple of years we have been working in a relatively small environment. Heart Institute has uh, invested a lot of uh, resources, of course on behalf of the government of Uganda, to come up with this uh, unit as you can see it, with the support from the Hungarian government that donated the equipment that we can see in this uh, uh, unit. This cardiac surgery intensive care unit is quite big, uh, probably the biggest uh, around here, that is the Uganda and the Eastern Central Africa. As you may know, all the work we have been doing over the last couple of years in the smaller unit of four beds, because with the four beds serving both medical and uh, surgical patients, the outputs are really not uh, the best. However, after establishing this unit, which is seven beds, we expect to almost triple the output of the cardiac services at Heart Institute. And with all the equipment that we have been able to acquire, we expect that we can now handle the most advanced critically ill cardiac patient, be it surgical or medical because now this unit can serve the patient with all sorts of uh, technological requirements, except for the MRI and uh, CT scan, which we need to uh, outsource. But the rest of the equipment required to support a patient who is critically ill after cardiac surgery or because of a cardiac disease, we have the equipment necessary to support all the way from the brain, to the heart, to the chest, to the lungs, to the kidneys, to the liver. We are able to do all this. We are also able to do um, all sorts of uh, cardiac surgeries because now we don't lack any equipment that we need for this service. We look forward to having full functionality of this unit because we know that with it fully functional, the needs of Ugandans will be sorted. We shall have enough space to operate on very many children who are suffering and very many adults who need these services. Thank you.